Hey guys, Jamstrap here. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys some quick and easy ways to just give your Indomitus style or any sort of Primaris Marines a bit more of wolfy flavor. Now, to be honest, I've done a lot of these wolfy kit bashes and stuff like that, like five easy tip guides and all that kind of stuff. But we've got some chainsaw wielding intercessors now with plasma pistols and stuff like that. So yeah, it's nothing, nothing too technical with this. It's just going to be some like kid bashing, changing up bits, a little bit of snipping. So yeah, nothing too complicated with this one. And then I'll show you guys how I do one and then I'll go at the end of the video, I'll show you examples with the rest of the Marines I've done. All right, so as always, before you start kid bashing and giving things wolfy flavor, you're gonna need bits. Now, if you wanna go pure Primaris and you don't wanna be buying any of like the older kits, I would still recommend buy the Wolfen and the Storm Wolf or Storm Fang Gunship kit because first of all, they're not old Marines. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon and they come with loads and loads of extra bits. But for these kind of like assault intercessor guys, you really, really wanna get a pack of like blood claws or something like that. Even if you're not gonna use the actual Marines, the, the money is well worth the bits you get in there. You get so many like chain swords, wolfy talismans, bolt pistols, everything you'll ever need for like tons and tons of Primaris guys. Now, of course, usually in my videos, I do some sort of green stuff fur and I'll be showing a lot more better showcases of fur in this one. Now I'm not going to be showing how to do fur in this. Like I said, I've done it so many times in my other videos and also I've found a new tool and technique to get even better looking fur. So I'm going to have a tutorial for that out in about like a week or two. So definitely check that out when it comes, well, when it comes out. So yeah, I won't be showing that in today's video, but check out my how to kit bash blade guard veterans or easy tips on kit bashing space wolf videos if you want to do some fur stuff now as well. So yeah, as you can obviously see here, I've got loads of Space Wolfy chainsaws here for this, like obviously from the Grey Hunter Blood Claw pack and stuff. So you can use these. I've got loads of them here. You've got the plasma pistol from the kits. I've got some bolt pistols, little knifey bits to hang off the belts. You name it, the kit has it. And this one is from the Primaris Space Wolves upgrade kit or any of the Primaris, not Primaris, any of the Space Wolf upgrade kits are really really worthwhile so definitely pick them up as well so you could use this if you wanted to it's not super wolfy so it's not that great but it's something different then obviously lastly you're going to need some clippers glue and a knife and also i always recommend some blue tack like you can see here i'm trying to check out how everything is going to work together so i pop this wolfy head in there oh that's another thing you'll need well if you get the great huntry blood claw kit you'll get loads of heads so I'll be using this head here. I think this is probably from the Wolfguard Terminators thing. You don't need that, but I thought I'd kind of replicate the, the sergeant that comes with the easy to build assault intercessors right now. But anyway, I am rambling on far too much right now. So what I'm gonna do is, as you can see with this guy, the monopose kind of guy, I've, you know, I've done some stuff here, but I'll showcase this later. But he's got a plasma pistol in this hand and a chainsaw in this hand. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is I'm gonna kind of do it in the opposite direction but doing a lot of chopping and snipping and stuff like that. So let's get on it. All right, so let's start with the easiest one. And this is obviously, this is just normal hand. All you're gonna do is snip it off at the wrist right there with your little knife. So this is the one that's gonna be holding our wolfy chainsaw over here, which is this one I'm gonna be using. So yeah, like I said, both just gonna chop them off right about there, should be fine. So yeah, let's do that on camera if we can. Always make sure you hold the bit so it doesn't disappear. There we go. And keep that, you never know when you want to stick a hand on something else. And the same thing for the chainsaw. And there we have it. I think I might have nicked a bit there. But yeah, so all you've already got to do is stick the two together. But I'm going to leave that until I actually glue this arm on so I can get the posing and everything right as well. So we've we'll got that snipped, we'll leave that for a second. Actually, yeah, let's get it on now so we give this arm drying time before we start fiddling with the model on the other side as well. So all you got to make sure is make, well, yeah, make sure everything's flush, really. Make it all neat and stuff. If it's not, just kind of use your little knife and even things out. Uh, one thing I also need to mention is you might be thinking, why am I cutting it off if this is already on an arm? You could just take the arm on. And you can. One thing I've noticed is the old marine arms and stuff look a little bit stunty compared to the new ones. I mean, if you just look like that, first of all, if you line the elbows up, you can see it's shorter. And this, the Primaris one's a lot thicker as well. Because I've done that stuff before and it 
not all arms, but a lot of them just don't quite look right. They look like they've got a little T-Rex arm. So yeah, just swap out the weapons is definitely a better choice. And there you have it. I stuck the arm on first so I can get a nice little kind of like pose on there. And Bob's your uncle. The hand doesn't look too out of place. Got that extra bit of wolfiness, a lot more aggressive looking style. And yeah, he's already looking quite sweet. Now we just got to do it with the plasma pistol. And now obviously I'm doing it with the plasma pistol, but if you want to do this with like all your guys in your kit, you can obviously do it with bolt pistols, replace, like you can put that instead of the new heavy bolt pistol or something like that. Now they're going to look absolutely tiny compared to them. I mean, even these chainsaws are smaller than the new ones, but they just look cool. So same thing again, we're going to snip off right here on the wrist, but it's going to be slightly more complicated with this one because it has this kind of like like v-shaped overlapping kind of thing so i'm going to show you guys how to go about that first first of all let's absolutely obliterate this nice little bolt pistol here unfortunately you can try save it if you want to you can take your knife from the back and slide it along the line but um i don't think i'm going to need one solitary heavy bolt pistol so yeah let's go from here chop it off that this is probably going to shoot across the room yeah it just hit me in the arm <laughs> And yeah, that's 90% of the work done. Now all we're going to do is don't go right to the edge because you don't want to damage it because you want to go in later with your knife. Yeah, that probably went a bit too far down. And to be honest, from here, you could probably work with your knife or maybe just snip off a little bit of the hand you know, like that. Try not to damage it. Okay. Now all we're going to do is carve our way in. Obviously, like I say, you want to leave... I can't I always forget the name. Is it a van brace or I don't know, wrist guard or something? I don't know what it's called. So yeah, just kind of carve your way in from about there downwards and up. Should be fairly simple. Oh, whoops, I accidentally cut in a bit too much there. That should be fine. Yeah, as you can see, I just kind of drilled the, the blade in there a bit because this is a lot rounder than I was anticipating. So you've got to really try to get into that little gap. All right, so I've carved that hand out a bit. To be honest, it took a bit more work than I was expecting. Not long, like extra, like about five, 10 minutes or something. And yeah, just snipped around there. So this will curve in there a bit better. So we just kind of got to kind of line this up where we want it and get it glued in. Like I say, if there's any gaps or whatever, plastic glue does a really great job of filling that out anyway. And there we have it. Probably not the best pose ever, but I managed to get it nice and flush and fill up all the gaps in that angle there. So it just depends on how you carve it, really. And it doesn't look too off. So yeah, there we go. Weapons are done. So you've got that nice wolfy chainsaw, got a wolfy plasma pistol. All we've got to do now is like take the head of your choosing. I'm picking this guy here. Doesn't really matter which head you choose. So you can even, I mean, he's got, I've chose the helmet there on the back, but obviously if you didn't, Put helmets on there like that. Yeah. All that's left now is, like I said, the head and then just add extra little blingy bits. So I'll get that all done and back to you guys. Yeah, that's looking pretty dynamic and sweet. And like I say, if you want to replicate the previous one, you get these kind of things from the Terminator sprue, I'm pretty sure. Or alternatively, like I did with this one, I just stuck a little wolf heady thing. You find them in your bits throughout the kits and I just stuck that on there as well. Now, this guy's probably fine like that if you just add some wolfy talismans, but I'm, I'm going to do it just for this video. All right, so it comes with this little nubby thing at the back, which doesn't really fit too well on these intercessor guys, so we're going to have to snip it off. Yeah, that should be fine. You don't really need to smooth it out. I think more surface area is probably better for gluing. All righty, so that's that guy done. Like I said, you can add more or less stuff as you want on there. But I think just a simple chainsaw and bolt pistol plasma pistol swap out like that obviously the head doesn't make some massive difference and that's all you really need that guy looks 10 times more wolfy like say add some loincloths in there with some green stuff but i will be doing a new guide on green stuff like i said i've done loads of videos before but i found a much better quicker way to do it so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that but yeah so that's that dude finally done i'm really pleased with how he's turned out super easy like I said, just snip there, a little bit of carving there, stick a head on and boom, done. But I'll quickly show you some examples of other ones I did, so little extra bits and stuff you might want to do. 
All right, just keep in mind, not all of these heads are glued on because I'm putting in actual heads that I want to paint first because I want to practice my head painting skills. Speaking of which, I actually did these the other day. These are the heads I'm going to be using. And because you do eventually start to run out of wolfy heads, I decided to green stuff beards and stuff on the ones that didn't have beards so they can look slightly different or at least change their beards up. So they don't really look great in this light, but I think... I'm slowly getting the hang of it, like this guy over here, I did hair on this one. I don't know if the strong light's not coming out very well, but yeah. That's definitely something you can do to vary your guys up. But also, if you want to guys want a tutorial on this, I can do it. I mean, I'm not very good at it yet, but if you want it, I can do it. But anyway, back to the video. Lots and lots of rambling as usual. So I've just kept the normal chain swords on these guys because they're much beefier and chunkier. But like I say, if you want to do a whole unit with the, with the wolfy ones... That would look pretty sweet as well. Yeah, so I've just added this necklace because it's kind of going in the same direction. I put a little purity seal there to give him more movement. It's all about just showing this guy running, like I say, with this little wolf talisman down there. Putting on a nice wolfy head, I think will look badass. And yeah, he's going to look super sweet. Looks like he's running at full speed. With all that like movement flowing around. And this guy didn't do too much. I gave him a little grenade thing from the... I think it's the... Incursor sprue or something like that or the reavers as well just breaks it up look makes him look a bit more aggressive I guess and then I just added on a little knife over there as well a wolfy knife So not too much there, but I think that the grenades definitely breaks it up And I actually found a use for the he-man head everybody hates this head It's not the best one ever, but I think it actually suits this pose quite well So we've got a nice wolfy head there once again another purity seal. I find purity seals ready to Gives the more a lot more movement. It shows like which way it's blowing and stuff like that. Once again, green stuff fur on there. Yeah, I'm really really digging this like new green stuff I've been doing. Then this one, all I've done is add a wolfy talisman to his blade. There gives it a more dynamic kind of movement and also gives it a wolfy feeling, of course. And then I've put on some chains. Now that's nothing wolfy. That's just kind of got to do with my custom chapter. Every now and again, some guys are gonna have chains on them. This dude. Oh, by the way, also because like the ones in Indominus, there's five guys and then another five guys just they're the same pose. So I've like swapped out different arms and stuff like that to change them up a bit. This is probably not the best pose with this like really rigid looking arm. But anyway, yeah, loincloth, head swap, grenades. Yeah, thing looks pretty decent. That's the thing when you're up kit bashing primaries, you don't want to go too over the top because, well, unless you've got an unlimited supply of wolfy bits. Just, you know, slap a little bit in there, gives them a little hint of wolf. Because, I mean, you're going to be painting them up in wolf colors. You can put transfer sheets and stuff to wolf them up as well. But yeah, wolf head and a knife. That's all you need. The heads are the most important things. And these guys are quite aggressive looking anyway. This dude, another loincloth there. I think it's going to be fun to paint up. And yeah, that's literally it for this guy. That, that's it, but I think it works pretty well. And then I showed you the original sergeant, just to put some intercessor relic -y things there, bone on there, wolf talisman there. That's literally it. But I think it, it works. Because that head seems pretty wolfy already to me. I mean, it doesn't have a beard, but I mean, it still looks pretty cool. And lastly, once again, another intercessor thing there. And just green stuff uh, flowing in the direction that he's running. And that's it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, nothing too complicated, just simple kit bashing. And it's more of like a video of giving you ideas and inspiration than anything else. And once again, I will be doing a review sash kind of like test on showing you guys how I make this fur. And depending on when you're watching this or when this one's coming out, I'm doing a kind of similar video with the Primaris Outriders, the bike dudes as well. So check that one out. And of course, check out my channel and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of stuff. If you like the video, you know what to do. And of course, comment below what you think of all these dudes and maybe how you went about it as well. Maybe jump in my Discord the, in the description below and maybe share some pictures as well. So yeah, until the next one, guys. Bye-bye.